We're parked on Katy Lane, which is where the property is located. I'm actually facing toward the east, toward uh, Highway E, and I'll spin around here and we'll head down Katy Lane and have a look at the property. Those are the mailboxes for Katy Lane. So we're just a couple miles outside of Eldridge, Missouri. Tiny little town, but it does have a gas station, uh, convenience store, and it looks like a couple of manufacturing places as well. But we'll head down Katy Lane for about a quarter mile and we'll be at the property. It'll be on the right side of the road. You'll see a little house to the left and the property will be on the right. You can see power uh, and phone are here on Katy Lane. Now this property does have 75 feet of direct frontage, uh, right at about 75 feet anyway, of direct frontage on Katy Lane. Um, but in order to leave it private, the guys left the trees and we're going to go in uh, just east of the property. So the property starts uh, on the right, just about across from their car. And uh, since those trees haven't been removed, there is an easement on this existing uh, driveway where you can drive right into the property this way. And then we'll go just a few feet and we'll be on the property. And I'll show you in a minute why, why the guys did it that way. So we're, we're on the property and it does have uh, 75 feet roughly of direct frontage on Katy Lane. Uh, the guys decided uh, to leave the trees uh, because it, uh, even though you can see the home obviously right now, in the summertime it'll be uh, really private and uh, you may or may not want that tree cover. If you don't, feel free to remove any of those trees uh, and you've got yourself a driveway. Otherwise, if you want to leave it private, you just shoot in from that uh, existing approach. Um, and I, like I said, I believe it's about 75 feet wide. You can see that fence. That is uh, not on the property. That's one property over. So for our purposes, uh, since this property is not fenced, if you were to measure 75 feet west of that fence line, you would be looking at the east line of this property, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. But it's about 75 feet wide. It goes back to the north for quite a ways and then it widens out. So we've got a little little pasture, a little field here. I'm gonna pull up a little bit and uh, park the truck and then we'll do some walking. Maybe I'll take a couple pictures while I'm standing here though. Like I said, we are directly on the property right now. And maybe you do want that direct driveway right away. It would just be a couple hours with the chainsaw uh, and, and you can remove those particular trees for driveway purposes, that's fine. But if you want the, the privacy, then uh, you can come in the way we did. So just a little bit of pasture on this southeast side of the property. We'll drive north a little bit. Uh, and you can see it transitions into timber pretty quickly. I don't have an aerial with me. I don't know exactly how far back this goes. Uh, when you come out, if you bring the aerial map, um, the guys are scheduled to have the lines marked, but sometimes that doesn't get done as, as quickly as we like. But like I said, to find the east line, it's pretty easy uh, because you can measure off that fence, come over about 75 feet because that property is also 75 feet wide. So if you start on that fence, measure directly west toward us, 75 feet, that will give you the east line for this property. And then if you measure another 75 feet, that will give you the west line because it is about 75 feet wide on this south side. I know that sounds a little confusing, or it does to me anyway, but if you look at a, 
an aerial map, it should make a lot more sense. So 75 feet wide. Um, you can certainly build on this part. 75 feet is wider than uh, a lot of residential lots where I've lived. That'll give you, even with any setbacks from the side, uh, that should give you some nice room to build. Um, in general, contact us with any questions. And then as we walk back, here's an existing deer trail. Freshly used. And you will see a ton of deer out here. Deer and wild turkey galore out here. Looking back, lock up my truck, because I don't know how long we'll be gone here. This is a big, big property. Nice timber. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, we're already extremely private, but this does go back even further. And then it widens out and goes way back to the west. I mean, you could put miles of trails on this property if you wanted to and still not be bumping into yourself. It's just kind of a, a cool property. A lot of this was logged. Uh, judging by what I'm seeing here, this east side was not. This looks great. Now, although you could certainly drive a four-wheeler or a side-by-side -side back here, if you were gonna take a full-size truck or car here, you'd have to do a little clearing, make a little driveway. Uh, although generally you can't cut any trees until the property's been paid for in full, we do make exceptions for driveways and trails and building sites. Uh, we know you need to get access uh, to your building site. Now we'll be getting close to where the property widens out. Okay. I know that because there's a cross fence over in the field that I can use as a reference point. And again, this might sound a little confusing from the ground level, but uh, there I can see looking to the east, a farmer, there's a clump of trees with a cross fence going his way. And once we break over that, we're pretty much where the property widens out. So here we're, we're kind of running the east edge of the property. It actually has just maybe a little bit of pasture uh, very little, if any, just a small bit, but mostly this timber here. So now the property goes way over to the west. It's a couple hundred feet north to south now. Uh, if you really wanted a, ma a massive uh, yard or building site, uh, you'd probably want to get toward this north end. Got some different sized timber. And I sure wanted a sunny day today and I thought I'd get one, but I did not. That's okay. It's still a great looking property. So now I'm looking toward the west. And as you go west, uh, this will drop down, it'll even out, it'll slope back up, it'll probably drop down again. It's, it's real Ozark uh, land, a lot of up and down to it. If you were to remove some of the smaller trees, you'd have a spectacular view to the west. I can look through some of the trees since it is the middle of winter. And I bet I can see three or four miles to the west. There's a ridge way off there. I don't think my camera will ever pick it up. I don't think it will, but I can see it. See if I can zoom in, oh, I can't. Anyway, <laughs> potential for some awesome views. 
I can see some some great building spots uh, maybe some places you can make a pond uh, this is a really a really cool property it did cloud over on us I've already gone 10 minutes so I'll cut it short but uh, please bring your aerial map when you come out to this one uh, if the guys don't have it don't have the approximate boundaries marked you'll probably want that but uh, come on out and check it out this is really nice we don't get properties like this very much in fact we seldom seldom get properties that have direct frontage uh, on a road uh, like Katie Lane with power and phone right there we're super close to town we're not out in the middle of the boondocks but it's really private uh, you're just not going to see anybody back here so you could build up by the road uh, for super easy access or you could come back a few hundred feet or you could come way back here to the north end a lot of opportunity on this one probably could do a self-sustaining type of homestead if you wanted uh, there's some pasture you could obviously create more pasture all of that pasture we saw was once trees like this and it it was cleared and turned into pasture uh, but yeah large property great location we're uh, kind of midway between Lebanon and Camdenton which is a fantastic place to be Camdenton with the Lake of the Ozarks uh, and Lebanon uh, another big regional town with a lot of employment a lot of shopping a lot of uh, restaurants uh, and of course we're just two three miles out of Eldridge which does at least have a gas station a small convenience store uh, so really really a good setup and super private nobody's gonna bug you out here unless you want them to we've met a few people on Katie Lane uh, they were all really nice um, it just seems like a seems like a good solid area uh, so feel free to come out and take a look I uh, use caution you'll find some old fence barbed wire fence on some of these trees uh, I could could poke you watch out for that super cool property that's the acreage on Katy Lane by Eldridge, Missouri.